All right, Gadgeteers, um, I'm going to go ahead and shoot a video. I figured as long as there's no PII, uh, for those of you who had my class before know what that means. Those of you who have not, it means personally identifiable information. So um, if somebody comes in for my roommate or myself, I'll just stop the video and resume afterward. So long story short, uh, Tuesday morning when I got up, my heart went into an abnormal rhythm called a ventricular tachycardia and uh, it wasn't resolving so um, I transmitted a data file from my device um, I have a what's called a home base station and you put I call it the puck but it basically looks like a mouse and it Bluetooth to the base station and then it transmits the file to the hospital called the device clinic right away to see what was going on um, took my heart medicine uh, like I'm supposed to because I didn't really know if I um, you know that was a factor and uh, they reviewed the uh, file that I sent from my internal cardiac device here in my chest and they said that I needed to go to the hospital immediately and I should call 911 so I called 911 um, arrived at the hospital within an hour because I went to <coughs> the hospital where um, all my cardiac work has been done so I wanted to go you know to the one where I feel most comfortable and confident um, since then there's been a problem uh, controlling my blood pressure so it's way way low and if I stop talking and stuff, it's because I have to think because my blood pressure is so low. Um, at one point, it went the top number went to 62, and I was kind of dopey and messed up. Um, so they think it's either a fluid issue or it could be something more extreme like, um, you know, increasing heart failure and... They're, they're trying to see if uh, fluids will resolve the issue. If it does, um, they'll try to moderate my medicine and get it into the sweet spot again, and then maybe I can go home. If it doesn't, uh, I would have to have a right heart catheterization, and the goal of that would be to see if my heart has decreased in its cardiac output. So every time it squeezes, it pumps that blood out and it's getting weaker and weaker and weaker. Um, if that was the case, I might end up staying and having to get my LVAD pump put in now as opposed to at the end of April. Uh, they did say they would rather get me out of the hospital as soon as possible because um, the number of coronavirus cases in the hospital are doubling every day. So um, it's very tense around here. I'm not allowed to have any visitors, even my wife, so I'm literally just sitting here alone talking with friends on te via text and things like that. So that's where it stands right now. My last blood pressure was 86 over 53, which is actually good for me. Um, you know, it's been 60s, 70s, and that's way too low. It's possible they're forcing too much uh, diuretic which makes you go to the bathroom a lot and so they're gonna I didn't have any today and then tomorrow they're gonna try a lower dose and see what happens um, I'm hoping it'll work because I'd like to go back home for a while and you know prepare for the surgery but if I have to do it I'm gonna do it now just the fact that I need that pump um, you know there are risks associated with it of uh, the left ventricle assist device which is a battery pack with a computer on the outside of your body and then you have a wire inside your chest so I mean I knew it was coming you know it's nothing new uh, and you probably have heard me say these things before so I apologize to those of you who have heard this but thank you for watching I really appreciate it 
Um, I really appreciate your comments and helping me just stay sane. Um, I don't do very well in the hospital mentally. It's very difficult, and right now I'm not allowed to stand up unless I have somebody present because of my low blood pressure. So yesterday I was walking around doing stuff, so I felt a lot better, you know, but now I'm just kind of sitting here uh, watching some videos. I watched Turner Classic Movies, you know, I love that station, and I don't have it at home, so watched a ton of really good movies. Um, but anyway, that's life for me right now. Uh, if I do get the LVAD surgery, I'll be out of action um, for at least a week. I probably won't have a video out, but I will do a video prior to the surgery if that is their decision. Again, thank you for watching. I will see you next time on Fast Gadgets.